Hi, hope you're well. This is a little bit of a different video for me this morning. I wanted to talk to you about why I'm thinking about getting the contraceptive injection. So to give you a little bit of backstory, I went on the pill when I was 14 because I had really bad acne and that was the way that it was going to be treated. So I was on Dianet which absolutely sorted my skin out and I was stayed on Dianet from the age of 14 through to being 29 when I stopped taking the pill because I was going to have a baby. I believe that you're not actually meant to be on that long term but for some reason I was and it worked for me, it hasn't done me any harm I believe and it was fine. Being on Dianet was, was fine, for, it sorted my skin out, I didn't really notice any particular side effects and it suited me up until that point so I stopped taking that when I was... 28. Stopped taking it before I had Ben and I decided I was going to stop taking it and give me a few months to get out of my system before we started training for a baby and I fell pregnant in that first month literally as soon as I stopped taking it. So I had Ben and then after I had Ben I had some issues, can't speak, I had some issues with my blood pressure. I was on two different types of blood pressure medication for about eight months after I had him and so that meant that I couldn't go back on the Dianet uh, my skin didn't really require it and I went on, oh I want to say microgynon but I don't know whether that's just because that popped into my head. I went on um, the combined pill, whatever it was. I didn't like it, it didn't really suit me but it didn't matter too much because I knew I was going to be planning to have another baby again fairly soon. So by the time I'd stopped breastfeeding and been on the pill for a few months, it actually wasn't that long before we started trying for Chloe. And I think I've caught on with her within about three months of, of saying we were going to start trying. So then after that, I didn't want to go back on the pill anymore. I didn't want anything hormonal. I didn't, um, I didn't like the way that it affected my, um, my mood. I didn't like the way it affected my desire. I just, I just didn't, I didn't really want it. I looked at getting the coil instead. So I chatted to my nurse about it and in fact actually I chatted to them about it in between Ben and Chloe and the reason I didn't have it done then was because of the slight risk of um, damage to the uterus I think it was and I just wasn't prepared to take that risk because at that time I knew I wanted another baby um, so which was why I went on the pill but anyway after Amy we discussed um, potentially having the coil but I spoke to lots of people who told me about the horror stories about my friend who she thought hers had fallen out, but it turned out that it was lost. People who found that it made their periods really heavy, people who found it really painful, people who found that they got pregnant anyway, and I just didn't get round to making a decision about it. They, I basically, I was put off, off the coil and didn't have that done, and then we fell pregnant with Amy. So further down the line, I, at, the, you know, at the end of my pregnancy with Amy, I'm having conversations with my consultants who are basically recommending to me or strongly suggesting that it would be an option during my plan C section to be sterilized and that was the decision that I took it was it was a in some ways it was quite a hard decision because I didn't like the finality of it and I didn't I don't know I, I, I felt like I was being made to make that decision but I know it was the right thing to do because I don't want any more children and regardless of that I shouldn't have any more because I've had three babies in four years all by c-section I've had issues with my kidneys I've had gestational diabetes the issues with my kidneys are ongoing as a result of pregnancy so the gestational diabetes problems with my hips problems with my back and basically on top of the fact that you know the more c-sections you have the more risks there are and other difficulties around pregnancy it was it would be foolish of me to decide to go and have any more children. So I was sterilised during my C-section after I had Amy. And obviously as such now don't need to take any contraceptive. But I'm now finding that PMT, I don't really remember being an issue for me until quite recently. But man, it's an issue now. For the last six months to a year, I have suffered the worst PMT and it just feels like it's getting worse. I'm vile, I'm snappy, I'm angry, I'm depressed, I'm just, I'm a horrible person and, and, then, and then I come on and I go, oh, that's what it was. But it's just, it's really unpleasant. It's really, really unpleasant for me and it's just not nice for the kids or for Dave. 
yeah and I, I don't want to feel like that it's really it's really not nice and on top of that I'm now since having the kids it seems to have got progressively worse but since having Amy I get really really bad period pain to the point that I'd quite happily just not do anything and get into bed for a day with a hot water bottle and some painkillers and just not not do anything my periods are heavy my periods are painful it's just a really miserable few days of the month because we go from PMT to pain and then once it's done it's fine and I'm sorted again but I don't want this anymore so I've tried evening primrose oil made no difference and a few people have suggested that if I go on the pill or take the injection that that might that might help obviously what stopped me doing that so far is that the risks of these things is that if you go if you take the injection you're stuck with that for the three months that it's in your system it's not like the pill where I can go I don't like it I'm going to stop taking it if I have the injection whatever side effects I suffer I'm stuck with for three months and those side effects might involve weight gain but more importantly they could make me my periods more painful more heavy and more prolonged which is exactly what I'm trying to avoid. So on the flip side, they might make them stop completely, which would just be an absolute joy. Everyone I speak to, it, it seems to be a bit of a Marmite issue. People have either had awful experiences and absolutely hated it or it's life changing and they love it. And I think essentially I'm just gonna have to take that risk. Obviously I don't wanna make my periods more painful or more heavy. I don't wanna make my mood worse. I don't want it to affect my libido but I also can't carry on the way I am. So I've got an appointment next week to go and speak to the nurse about the possibility of having a contraceptive injection and then I'll make a decision then. So if you have any anything to, to contribute to this, if you have any opinions, any experiences to share, any recommendations, I would love to know. And then when I've made my decision, I'll come back and tell you a little bit more about, about what's going on and how we're going to get on with it because... I am not carrying on like this. It's not happening. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.